Greetings to another video. Today is going to be a very, very short video because I'm going away. Um, but I didn't want to leave you without a video. So I thought, what can I, what kind of value can I give, like the most value in such a short video? And so I thought I would share the five best pieces of advice that I've ever been given by lots of different people in the cycling world um, that have kind of, what's the word, like stuck with me the most and I find the most valuable. So the first one was from world record breaker and holder of riding around the world record, Mark Beaumont. And this relates to um, endurance riding. And what he says is faff less. And what he was saying was that if he had stopped every time he wanted to stop on his round the world effort, it would have taken like an extra, I think it was two days. So he says, you don't need to focus on getting faster, Bill an FTP, you just need to stop less. So I thought, I always remember that on long rides. I'm like, I don't need to like hammer it out. I just need to just stop less. So that's the first one. Second one is from my friend Chris, you'll see from Martin Biking. And he talks about the pyramid of experience. And what he means by that is slowly build up to doing bigger things. And like some people can just jump headfirst into doing big events. I've always been a little bit more like, what's the word? like timid and I have to like build up to doing things and so what that means is and it can be for anything it could be hill climbing it could be mountain biking it could be distance it could be anything it's like building those little blocks and then you can do the next big thing so for like mountain biking it's just doing like like little obstacles and then like building up and then distance doing like a 20k then a 40k then a 50k and you, you kind of build that little pyramid of experience which I think I just really like that and so if I ever if ever I get like think oh I can't do that I then think well I've done that so maybe I can do that and that's like building that period of experience pyramid of experience the next one is from two of my friends and I can't remember who it was that said it, it was either Ben or Jay it was the first Audax it would ever been on and I was getting all like worked up and like a bit stressy about it and being like oh my god are we gonna do it and I can't remember which one of it was, they said to me, it's just riding a bike. Don't get stressed, it's literally just riding a bike. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's great. Actually, Ben specifically also said that day, all day pace, all day. And that also stuck with me. So there are another couple of good ones. Um, what other one? I'm trying to think which other ones I'd remembered. Oh, uh, another one is eat before you're hungry, drink before you're thirsty. And that is from, you, some of you might know him, Duran Rider, Holly Johnston. Uh, that's also really important because I think a lot of us maybe get to the point where you are hungry. I've done it before where you basically bonk um, and it's not fun. We've probably all been had that experience on a bike or running like hitting the wall, um, it's called. And so I think that's a really good piece of advice as well. So I always remember that. Uh, and then the last one is from my good friend, Phil Burt, who was uh, Team Sky um, physio and bike fitter extraordinaire. He's just amazing. He worked with Team GB and his is very specific. I mean, he's got loads of amazing nuggets of knowledge, of advice that are just awesome. Um, I'll leave a link to his channel actually. Um, but this particular one is quite a specific one and it's about crank length and it's about having 165 cranks. And for me, I used to get, I used to ride 170s and I used to get a little bit of hip pain, um, especially doing the amount of climbing that I'm doing. And he said, just go down to 165 um, mil cranks. And I was like, well, I'm like 5'9", five, 5'10", five, like I'm not, am I not too tall? And he was like, no, it's not to do with height. Um, it doesn't really make any difference how tall or short you are um, on your crank length. And so I tried it and honestly, it was the best I think probably one of the best changes, apart from my um, handlebar width, that made the biggest difference of comfort. And also because you're using a shorter crank, you kind of get almost like an extra gear. That's how he explained it to me. Um, and I said to him, so, and he was saying like all the benefits of using shorter cranks. And I was like, well, if they're all the benefits, such as like, you know, you're not having to have such as a tight, acute angle when you're uh, bringing your, your knees up on every pedal stroke. I was like, why do not more people do it? And he's like, I don't know. So I was like, what's the downside? And he's like, there is no downside. So I was like, why don't people do it? He's like, people just think that you have to have longer crank length because you're taller or you think e extra long cranks are gonna give you more power. And he was saying that all the studies that had, that had gone into that and testing that, it was like, 
the difference for it to make any difference was like either a really tiny crank or a ridiculously long like I can't remember what the, the figures were for it like ridiculously long ow and the ridiculously long that didn't actually hurt why do you say ow when you bang something it didn't hurt anyway it would need to be ridiculously long to make any difference so that's another one so they're the five and I thought I would give you a little bonus one of my own and my own one is let me think of one I think for me, it's you never know what you can do until you do it. Because I think sometimes in the past, and maybe it's the same for you, I was always scared to try something like, oh, there's no way I can do that. There's no way I can do it. But then you never know what your limit is until you do it. Like how many of us actually go out and hit that limit and have to like, you know, there's not many times I don't think that we do that. I mean, there's been a couple, there's only been a couple in all the like seven years I've been cycling. There's maybe only been once or twice where I've been like, no, I definitely can't do that. Um, and no, actually there's been way more. But what I mean is like big ones where like I've had to get a train home, for example. Um, and I just think you never know what you can do until you do it. And then once you've done it, you're like, oh, that wasn't as bad. So I would, that would be my piece of advice. Like just, you don't know what you're capable of until you do it. So don't think you can't do it. Just give it a go. And if you have to get a train home or you have to get picked up, you have to get picked up you're better off trying these things and I'm saying that now because um that's why I'm kind of not rushing around today but that's why it's not a particularly long video because I am going to head back now because I need to sort up my gravel bike because I'm doing a gravel event slash race slash bike packing adventure so I need to get back and I'm, a little, I'm very scared about doing it but I'm like just give it a go you don't know what you're capable of and if I have to get a train home then that's what I have to do so I want you to leave me your like best piece of advice that you've ever been given related to cycling in the comments and just get a really nice, positive, encouraging little conversation going in the comments. So I will see you back next week. It might actually be either Tuesday or Wednesday. There won't be a video on Monday because I will still be away. So yeah, I'll be back. So thank you so much for watching. I'm just gonna have a minute here. Like, look at this view. Look at that. Oh, love it. See you next video. Have a nice weekend. See you next week. I don't know what it is, but every time I ride past this gate, I just love it. Is that really weird that I've got an obsession with this gate and I've never taken a picture of it, so I've taken a little sneaky one. I did knock on and ask actually, they're like, yeah, that's fine. But I just love it. It's so pretty.